Hello everyone, it's Sparkling Char and welcome back to my channel. Coming in today to show, um, I was, uh, well to tell you guys that I'm super excited because I was uh, asked to be a guest designer for Decorate Your Life, who is Sandy Nagel here on the YouTube. She is a um, crafter, very amazing crafter who's been on many, many design teams and she's doing her own designing now. So I was really, really um excited that um they reached out to me her and well jenny from craft creations and then sandy uh from decorate your life and um all i had to do was pick the paper that i want but what got me to do this was is digital paper i love digital paper i tell you guys when i first started crafting i would try to buy every paper pad i saw not knowing it was going to cause chaos paper stacked here stacked there then when i realized no bad digital and that's all i've been doing even though my computer can get full sometimes but that's not a problem because all you got to do is zip the file and that's it so um again this is digital paper it's from uh sandy's nagel shop called decorate your life i'm so nervous guys because <laughs> i'm excited too at the same time but anyway let me let me quit rambling and show you exactly this beautiful, beautiful paper. I speak to I, Ella. I picked the one called Springtime in the Air. What's is it spring in the air? That's it on the screen. I'll get it together. But this paper is so gorgeous, and I just um, printed it out on my computer. And as you can see, the first one it's got the Easter eggs and everything in it. I love the polka dots and stripes. Who said that don't go well together? Never. <laughs> So cute, right? That goes so good together. And then here's the one with the flowers. This one may be my favorite. I think this is my favorite. And then here's one too with the, I love the wood heart and the polka dot eggs and some more flowers. This one is gorgeous. It has the word Easter. And look at the designs all here. Got the little chick, little flower pot. This is really cute. Here, too, the two Easter eggs. Look at the bunny hat behind the heart. But his ears are sticking up out of the heart. That's pretty. This is another favorite. The polka dots. Love how she got the flowers scattered here. This is a gorgeous collection. This is the one with the rabbit. And the, and the, the daisies look like daisies, but it's a beautiful pink mint green. I mean, beautiful mint green with that one and then here's the uh, last one this one is a seven page collection I believe yeah but I'm going to link everything down in the description box anyway but isn't this gorgeous this is so pretty okay now let me show you what I made because this is kind of hard for me trying to get this done you know to do this and then um, come on this and do the video and everything like that so and put that there and uh i made these little easter purses for my for my nieces they're my um my brother's granddaughter so they would make them my grand nieces right yeah one is five five or six and the other one should be about three and i know there's plenty of uh tutorials on little purses or whatever but i followed a tutorial from kayla's craft i think it's 8 30 or 5 10 I'm sorry, guys. I'm like all over the place in this video, but I'll put everything down in the description. This one is called like a little satchel purse, and it's really cute. That is the back. I did a little fake stitching on there. Be me being lazy, I want to pull out the sewing machine, but yeah. And this is one of the flowers from that uh, paper. I cut the flower out, did a rosette off of it. And I use some, um, what you call it, magnets to keep it closed. And then you open it up. This is the inside. I did back the inside. And they had like a little, lot of little separate compartments. I even made, made like a little rosette with the little straw to it. They could switch back and forth. This is really cute. I made a little notepad. Out of that, made a little notepad. Stamp some little stuff up in there. It's so cute, guys. I put like a carrot in there. That's some candy. And the Dollar Tree had these little 
stamps. That's what you see in the book. I have a few of them down in there. And then this one is like a, one of those little popping balloons. You pop and it pop up like a balloon. It has a string down in there. Then you have a piece of like a milk chocolate candy bar. I have one of the little towels. And what else? Okay, that's all that's in there. I think it's, oh, I know what I'm, I'm going to put a, a bangle bracelet in there. I'm going to make them a little bracelet uh, also to put down there. But they so cute. They hold a lot. You can put a lot of stuff down in them. And the little dividers come out. You can put the little dividers in. I made some little dividers the way it go. Yeah, so it's cute. I like it. I love this paper. You can make anything out here. I, I want to punch some flowers out of it as well. But I hope my little nieces like their little, their little, uh, little purses, which I'm pretty sure they will. And then they just close them up like so. And I put the little bunnies on top. Very cute. And then I'll show you the other one. This is the, the other one. I use all, mostly, all, I try to use all the papers in the collection. Only one I didn't use, I think, was the one with the bunnies on it. Yeah, that's the one I didn't use. And then we're going to open them up. The same thing. It's the same thing down in, in this one as well. You don't have to use the dividers if you don't want to. I just added that. she show you how to put that, how to uh, put that in there. But, yeah, this little purse holds a lot. It really does. So, I'm pretty sure my little nieces will love it. And we get that, keep it closed down. Like that. Put them look. I got something on this side. Let me see. I think that's why she made a way to put the dividers in there. Yeah, there we go. This is so cute, guys. But, yeah, so this is what I want to show you. I'm excited about being a guest on the design team for, for Sandy. Decorate your life. I'll have everything in the description box below. Her Etsy shop. Oh, she got some gorgeous papers over there. It's one winter collection. I'm not going to wait for winter. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to make a TN out of it. It's so pretty. Yeah, so um, let's go over and check it out. You will love it. And it's very reasonable, too. She's very reasonable. That's why I like buying um, digital paper. And you can, once it's yours, it's yours. You can print it up as many times as you like. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for stopping by taking a look at my creation that I made. Thank you, Jenny, for um, reaching out to me. Thank you, Sandy, for trusting me. Being a, a guest design team member, if I can ever get this right. I'm so nervous about this. But I hope I... Did you guys well? I hope you guys like it and uh, look forward to seeing you guys really soon too again in another video. And remember to always sparkle. Bye for now.